clinic with two groups of SSV under 12 girls. Um, so some of them was their first um, hit of cricket, others are looking to get into the uh, the under 12 state team. I think particularly in female sport it's good to have female role models in, so it's good that they can see someone who's come through the pathway I guess. I know Emma and Anna, uh, they play primary school state cricket, so yeah it's good to see someone who's come through the pathway and guide them through and um, yeah, give them some tips, I guess. Yeah, it's really positive to see the way women's cricket is growing. Um, you know, with the Big Bash coming in, especially, it's a it's a great opportunity for for young kids to see women play. Yeah, it's very important, and it was great to meet the girls, see what to know that they did this as well when they were our age. Get them started young, get those skills in, and obviously um, a lot of opportunities for the women now um, in, in cricket. So, you know, for, for this generation coming up, building those skills can only be a good thing, and, you know, a lot of opportunities to even make a career from it. So, yeah, really important. I guess these sorts of things probably weren't available when we were coming through the system, so it's good that you know they can see so many girls playing cricket. I know when I was when I was these girls' age, you know I didn't see too many girls playing cricket, and it's a bit of a shock to the system when you see you know maybe 10 or so girls playing, let alone having a whole room full of them. So yeah, I think it sort of shows how much the, the game's grown, and it's good to see these girls have so much opportunity now to play cricket. I think it's really important for us to to get out there um, to see girls um, have role models and that sort of thing. So I think. Um, for young girls to see that you know girls do play cricket and, and there's a there's a pathway and um, you know it can lead to great things and um, get to travel the world and that sort of thing I think it's really positive for the for the girls yeah over the last few years in particular you know more exposure for the women's game you get a lot more girls coming along they've got a few idols so Meg Lanning Elise Perry all those they know these kind of people now so them coming in have have idols to aspire to and obviously a, a bigger number and more people want to get involved so it's fantastic. Hopefully um, with the ACA funding this, these opportunities we're able to come in and hopefully give that, that same experience to these girls now and give them something to aspire to, teach them a few things and, and have a bit of fun while we're here. So yeah, really important and, uh, uh, to, to building these kind of programs. I think the cricket community is very special um, and yeah, it's great that they can put some money back into the grassroots level and really develop and grow the game and contribute to you know growing it even further I guess. So yeah. Our idea is to, to have a bit of fun with them, show them how fun cricket can be, but also, um, you know, if, we, if they take away one or two things for a skill here and there to help them um, in their, their future of cricket or something for them to work on for this coming season, you know, hopefully we can build those skills up at a young age and then as they move through the program they're able to, you know, keep building on those and, and becoming, yeah, fantastic players for the future. There's some really good girls out there here, actually. Lots of skills, um, very exciting to see. Oh, it's a